authority you bestowed on me, your sweetheart, Jesus Christ, that represented you on earth here, I hereby declare 18 annual youth convention of God Great Ministry Corporation worldwide. Open. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, what can we do to go to that place? First, you must repent of your sins. I repent. Just like that. Yes. I repent. I have repented. I have repented. Have mercy. I have repented. <sighs> your Highness, I repent. What about you? I am a household. I've accepted the Lord Almighty. I accept Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last year when I came for convention, 2019. Which is greater glory. Greater glory. The Bishop of the World prayed. Mm. He said, tell God your pain. He said, and God will give it to you. You will go from glory to a greater glory. Mm. So immediately after the convention, I left. Three good years old, no picking no. Three years. Oh. She has been married. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm very, very Look quiet. at her now. <laughs> You must obey the word of God through the preaching and teaching of the bishop of the whole world. You must be committed in the lost vineyard and the service of God. The Bible makes us to understand that the reward of obeying the word of God and serving him is a very peaceful and prosperous living. Praise the Lord. May it be so with us in Jesus' name. In summary of what we have just heard, don't rely on academic qualifications alone. Don't compare yourself with others. You are special in your own way. Understanding the word of God will give you access, the ability, the enabling, that superpower to enable the able God to perform miracles in your life. I said to be able means to be competent, to be capable or having sufficient power to do something. Putting the topic together now, God is able. Now means God is able. God is competent. God is capable. God is having sufficient power. Now, if you look at the topic, if you look at the topic, God is able. You will see, if you look at it very well, look at it very well. You will see, look at it, look at the topic. You will see that nothing is mentioned. No particular thing is mentioned, attached to the topic as what God is able to do. Why? You only say God is able. Why? show anything attached to it that God is able the reason is because whatever you mention God is able that is the reason that is the reason therefore it will not be complete if we mention a particular thing attached to the topic that's what God is able to do. To not be complete. Because whatever you mention, God is what? He's able. Healing now, He's able. Divine health, oh, He's able. Prosperity, He's able. Good marriage, He's able. Children, He's able. Good job, He's able. Promotion, He's able. Protection, He's able. 
peace of mind, he is able. Success in our life, he is able. Forgiveness, he is able. Holy life, he is able. Eternal life, he is able. What you ask, he is able. Even what you did not ask, he is able. What you forget to ask, he is able. Even what does not be created, he is able. God will give you a miracle that will make your enemy to change their mind. They will say your God is able. In your school, your God is able. In your marriage, your God is able. Let me hear your hallelujah like thunder. As I sing this song, today, God is already in the business of delivering you. Let me hear your amen. Today, I'm going to visit you. Even when you will get home from this convention, may you see that miracle already bubbling up and down for you. Amen. mercy and protection I commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. Give you all his heavenly perfect peace. Amen. Now, 
throughout the days of our lives. Amen.